Welcome to the Deep Dive. Our mission here is pretty clear. We take a whole stack of info articles, research notes, and we really dig in to pull out the most important insights. Basically give you that essential shortcut to being properly informed. Have you ever been in that spot where you, uh, you needed to talk to a group, like right now, but you know, a phone call takes too long, setting up a group call is messy, texts get lost. Well, today we're diving into Zello. It's an app that's doing something really interesting. It's not just bringing back the walkie-talkie idea. It's kind of reinventing it for, well, for right now, for the digital age. It seems to solve some very modern communication headaches. So we're going to explore how this classic tool gets such a powerful digital upgrade and what that actually means for how you connect with people, maybe personally, maybe professionally. Exactly. And our deep dive today, it's really about getting under the hood of Zello. You know, this app that's making waves in push to talk communication. We're going to go beyond just, okay, what is Zello? What does it do? We want to unpack why its features actually matter and what are the sort of broader implications for just casual chat, sure, but also for really critical professional coordination. And how does it stack up when you look at it closely you know, in the real world? The goal here is simple get you quickly and uh, thoroughly informed about this specific tool. Okay, let's unpack this core idea then, because it feels pretty central to everything with Zello. Our sources are clear. Zello basically turns your smartphone into a uh, push-to-talk walkie-talkie, PTT. Now, for anyone maybe not super familiar with that term, PTT, you push to talk, mm. easier just press a button, say your piece, let go, it's instant. It's often one to many, kind of like those old handheld radios, yeah. right? But what does that really mean in practice for someone using it, beyond just the tech definition? Well, what's really impressive, I think, is how well Zello manages to capture that immediate, that direct communication style you get with a traditional walkie-talkie. Yeah, You really do get that instant broadcast feel. But the crucial modern twist, and this is the big one, the main differentiator, you're not limited by range anymore. Ah, okay. Yeah, unlike those old handhelds that, you know, maybe worked for a mile or two if you were lucky, Zello works anywhere you've got a cellular signal or uh, a Wi-Fi connection. Anywhere. Pretty much. And that fundamentally changes the game. It basically gets rid of those old communication dead zones and range limits. It sort of democratizes instant group communication over huge distances. I mean, think about it. Maybe a global logistics company coordinating drivers across continents. Right. Or maybe disaster relief efforts internationally without needing all that complex, expensive radio gear. That's the kind of potential we're looking at here. That's a really interesting point, getting rid of the range limits. Because, yeah, traditionally, walkie-talkies were pretty niche, weren't they? You know, local teams, specific events, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But our sources suggest Zello goes way beyond that. How does it actually manage to work for both, like, casual chats between friends and these really demanding professional situations? What makes that dual utility possible? And why is it so impactful? That's a really key distinction. This uh, range expansion genuinely opens up a whole world of possibilities that the old devices just couldn't touch. For personal use, yeah, it's great. Keeping family connected when they're out, coordinating a group trip, maybe camping or amusement park day. I could see that. You get that easy, almost hands-free feel without making separate calls or getting lost in text threads. But for professional use, its utility is, well, it can be transformative. We came across one really interesting case study, a big event management team. They use Zello to coordinate staff across this huge festival site. So instead of relying on individual calls or texts getting missed, every single security person, vendor manager, stage crew member, they could all be on dedicated channels, getting instant updates, even if they were miles apart physically. That dual utility, you know, bridging that gap from just chatting to critical operations, that's definitely one of its core strengths. I can immediately see how channels could have saved me some headaches. I tried coordinating a camping trip once with about a dozen people just using group texts. Pure chaos, never again. So let's talk more about connecting with groups. If you are trying to run an event, manage a team, or just keep a bunch of friends looped in, that's where this channel feature sounds like it really changes things. How do these channels actually empower people to communicate well on a bigger scale? Oh, the channel feature is absolutely a game changer, no question. And it's really central to Zello's power. These channels let you talk to many people all at once, so perfect for group chats with friends, sure, but also absolutely critical for team coordination and, you know, complex situations. Our sources consistently pointed out the capacity, which is pretty impressive. Mm. Each channel can support up to, wait for it, 1,200 users. 1,200? Seriously? Yep, 1,200. 
And that's not just a number, right? It means Zello can scale from like a small team chat for a local shop, right, all the way up to mass public broadcasts, think community alerts or big event announcements. It offers this level of immediate push to talk interaction that you just don't see on many other platforms. It sort of blends the directness of a walkie talkie with the reach of maybe social media. Mm -hmm. And speaking of public, Zello also has this whole ecosystem of public channels. You can jump in, talk to strangers about shared interests, or just listen in on different topics. It adds this whole other layer of social discovery, broad communication. It's kind of like having thousands of specific radio stations, but crucially, you can talk back. That's a fascinating angle, that blend of intimate group talk and potentially mass communication. But of course, not every message needs to be a voice blast, right? Sometimes you need a quick text, maybe send a picture for context, or even just catch up on something you missed. Hmm. Does Zello offer more than just that immediate voice thing? Does it push beyond what a traditional walkie-talkie could do. It absolutely does. And this is where Zello really stretches its usefulness beyond just being a voice-only device. Our sources confirm it also supports sending text messages and images. So it gives you more options, makes it more versatile. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Imagine like a technician in the field needing to quickly send a photo of a broken part back to the office. Or maybe a security team needing to send silent text updates to a command center during some kind of sensitive situation voice isn't always right. This adds critical context that just talking can't always provide. And then there's the message replay feature. Message replay. Yeah. For those times when you might miss something important, maybe you're in a noisy place, stepped away for a second, or just, you know, forgot a detail. Mm -hmm. This isn't just convenient. It's actually a critical safety net in some cases. Think about a firefighter in a really loud, chaotic scene potentially missing a key instruction. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or maybe a logistics dispatcher needing to double check a complex delivery address. Message replay makes sure that critical info isn't just lost in the ether. It adds this layer of accountability, clarity that you often don't get with just ephemeral voice calls. You can review, you can confirm. That's invaluable, <laughs> especially when things are noisy or the stakes are high. That message replay feature sounds incredibly useful. Yeah, especially for just making sure things are clear. But of course, you know, no tool is perfect. Every tool has its trade-offs. And our sources did flag some important practical things to think about with Zello, some considerations for users. What are some of those limitations or uh, maybe challenges that listeners should be aware of? That's a really crucial point to cover. Yeah. While Zello offers a ton of functionality, there are definitely some, let's call them cons or practical things to keep in mind. First, and maybe the most obvious one, is the dependency on your device your phone. Right, the smartphone itself. Exactly. If your phone battery dies, or heaven forbid you lose your phone, well, you can't use the app. And that could be a really significant problem in critical moments, especially if Zello is your main communication line in a professional setting. It's a point of failure that, you know, dedicated walkie-talkies with their often rugged designs and sometimes longer battery life might not share to the same degree. That's a fair point. Second, while it seems pretty smooth for individuals or small teams once you're up and running, the initial setup for larger organizations or businesses, what the source is often called enterprise use, that can apparently be a bit unintuitive. Unintuitive how? Well, it might mean you need to budget some extra time for planning, configuration, maybe integration, particularly if you're trying to weave it into existing IT systems or specific security rules. It's maybe not always a simple download and go for complex corporate setups yeah. is something to plan for. Okay, so potential setup hurdles for bigger deployments. Got it. And then finally, there's an important long-term consideration. Zello doesn't seem to get frequent software updates or major feature enhancements in the same way a lot of modern apps do. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It probably contributes to its stability being a focused tool, but it does mean that while it's very reliable for what it does now, it might not adapt as quickly to say new security threats or integrate with brand new technologies as readily as an app getting updated every week or month. For businesses looking years ahead, that's something to factor into their long-term tech strategy. So it really comes down to weighing these points, doesn't it? Yeah. Understanding where the reliance actually shifts when you take a classic tool like a walkie-talkie, a dedicated single-focus device, and move it onto your everyday smartphone. You gain so much, like the range and versatility we talked about, but you also introduce maybe new points of vulnerability like battery life or these longer-term considerations like updates. It's a critical balance to strike. Precisely. It's that exact trade-off. 
immense convenience versus this underlying reliance on a device that does well everything else too. But overall, looking at all the sources, the general feeling is overwhelmingly positive. Zello seems highly regarded. People praise its ease of use, the range of features it does have, and its general reliability. A lot of users really felt it delivers on that core promise, turning your phone into a genuinely powerful, long-range walkie-talkie. That's a strong endorsement. It really speaks volumes when users feel it delivers like that. So thinking about practical, real-world use, where does Zello truly make its mark? Our sources specifically mention some professional settings where it seems to have a big impact. Can you flesh that out a bit more for us, paint a clearer picture? Absolutely. Yeah, Zello really finds its sweet spot in professional environments where that immediate group-based communication is just non-negotiable. Absolutely critical for coordinating things quickly, rapid response. Think about um, dispatch teams for maybe a trucking company or taxi service, field communication for construction crews spread out over a site, security staff managing a large concert venue or stadium. Okay, yeah. And what's really fascinating, I think, is how it manages to merge the best parts of both worlds. You get the immediacy, the push to talk simplicity of a walkie talkie but combined with the global reach and the extra features like text and images that a smartphone enables. Can you give an example? Sure. One example that stood out was a logistics company. Before Zello, their drivers had to call dispatch individually or call each other for updates. Took time, could be missed calls. With Zello, a dispatcher can now instantly broadcast an update, maybe a sudden road closure ahead, a change in delivery sequence, an urgent safety warning to the entire fleet at once. Right, instant notification. Exactly, it cuts response times dramatically, stream streamlines the whole operation. We also saw examples, like you mentioned, event managers at huge festivals coordinating security, vendors, stage crews across, you know, hundreds of acres. Or think about a construction foreman needing to relay critical safety instructions to multiple teams working on different parts of a building simultaneously. Zello provides that instant coordination without needing all the complex, often expensive, traditional radio infrastructure. So it's effective, but also often more cost efficient for organizations needing that kind of constant group communication. Okay, so we've taken a real deep dive into Zello today. We've explored how it effectively transforms your smartphone into this really versatile long-range walkie-talkie. We looked at its standout features, those multi-user channels that can scale from just a few people up to, well, huge broadcast, and that really useful safety net feature, the message replay. But importantly, we also touched on the practical side, the considerations like device dependency, those potential enterprise setup complexities, and the long-term software evolution aspect. Our mission, like always, was to give you a clear, concise, but also comprehensive understanding of this tool so you can weigh up the benefits and the drawbacks for your own situation, your own needs. And just as we wrap up, this whole exploration of Zello, it kind of raises a bigger question for all of us to think about, doesn't it? Something beyond just this one app. As our personal devices, our phones primarily become capable of mimicking so many different specialized tools, you know, high def cameras, advanced GPS, global communicators. How do we really balance that incredible convenience and all that expanded functionality with the underlying and sometimes maybe fragile reliance on the device itself? What does it truly mean to be always connected when that connection is so tightly bound to a battery that can drain or the simple everyday risk of losing or breaking your phone? It's a balance I think we all navigate every single day and maybe something worth reflecting on as you think about your own use of technology and what it means for how you communicate and how prepared you really are.